Birthdays it ain't us, high kings and queens. I pray that today I find you excited for March because today is March 1st. I will tell you that I just pray right now that the Holy Spirit gives you this expectancy of exactly what it is that you need because many of us, we feel that we want things and we're like, we get them and I don't even think we do what the Lord wants us to do with the things that he grants us. So right now, I just pray that we get um, miraculous just this miraculous peace and comfort right now but more than anything his presence to have knowledge revelation insight and clarity beyond our years of age father in the name of jesus have your way we're approaching spring in the name of jesus i'm excited for march i don't know how many of y'all are excited for march but i am so today we are march 1st you will never get to live this day or this evening again so make it the best but more than anything make sure that you live as in what would jesus do because that helps me a great deal but today we're reading from psalm 50 50, 10, and it reads every animal of the forest is mine period let's read more into detail what that means because i have many ideas of what it could mean but i want to know what the lord is trying to deliver us today so father have your way we thank you for your peace your protection your presence and more than anything father we want your partnerships we want your partnerships and your protection have your way lord and thank you for leaving us greater than what you found us in jesus name today's title is owner or steward what is a steward? A steward is someone that directs the things that have been given to you. Are you steward? It's it's. What can you look it up, baby? We're gonna look it up because in my definition, I've always heard like steward your gifts, your steward your assignments. Steward. It's basically giving direction to someone, giving direction to something. Um, so, but let me let's let's read the definition. Steward definition is. Can I have it? <laughs> Sorry. Steward definition is. No, it's steward, baby. Sorry. So the definition of steward, stewardship is the careful and responsible management of, period. The conducting, supervising, or managing of something. I was saying it, but not, not, not very clear. Especially the careful and responsible management of something entrusted to one's care. Stewardship of natural resources. Bring it, Holy Spirit. Let me begin. Am I, am I an owner or steward? The CEO of a multi-billion dollar company asked himself that question as he weighed what was best for his family, concerned about the temptations that can come with vast help, health, I'm sorry, vast wealth. He didn't want to burden his heirs with the challenge, with that challenge. So he gave up ownership of his company and placed 100% of the voting stock in a trust. Recognizing that everything he owns belongs to God helped him make the decision to allow his family to earn a living in exchange for work while also using future profits to fund Christian ministry. Mm, get it. In Psalm 50:10, God tells his people, every animal of the forest is mine. The cattle on a thousand hills. As the creator of all things, God owes us nothing and needs nothing from us. I have no need of a bull from your, st from your stall. Or of goats from your pens. He says. He says. He generously provides everything that we have used. As well as the strength and the ability to earn a living. Forgive me right now. Because the sun is setting. And I, I can barely see. So I'm sorry if I'm losing eye contact. Because he does. As the psalm shows us. He's worthy of our heartfelt worship. God owns everything. Period. Yes he does. Everything and, and anything. But because of his goodness, he even chose to give himself entering a relationship with any who turned to him, who turned to him. Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life for a ransom for many. You can read more on that on Mark 10 45. When we value the giver over the gifts and serve him with them, we're blessed to delight in him forever. The scripture that comes to mind is... Um, take delight in the Lord and he will give you all the desires of your, your heart um, the desires that are in our hearts they're placed by him he puts desires in our hearts so we can create and fulfill what he needs to be done in the earth but he doesn't need us because whatever it is that we do not choose to serve him in or take delight in serving him he will choose someone else and that's why they say like it's always not they say but i've heard many pastors say that it's for us to be trusted can you be trusted many things that you're praying for can you be trusted with them why is that because you have to be responsible with them are you an owner in the self of in the in the way that you're just living selfishly or are you going to be a steward of his gift which is managing them the way he's called you to and you will steward them as the way he calls you to because there's things in the world that people need 
And if you are a hoarder of those things, including his presence or his knowledge or revelation, insight, and clarity, ideas, and strategies, you're not going to fulfill what he needs you to. You're going to do them for selfish pleasures or selfish desires. And that's hoarding. That's hoarding his gifts. Today's questions in our reflection and prayer area are, what has God given you that you're grateful for? The one thing that I am truly thankful for is his presence. I used to be thankful for life and health and wealth um, in those sense of having a wealthy, having wealthy health, if that makes sense. Being healthy to, you know, breathe and to have just health where I'm not always sick. Um, but the one thing that I'm becoming very, very thankful for is his presence. His presence because it gives me everything I need. And even the things that I don't know that I need, he's supplying them. Right now, I'm breathing. I'm walking. I'm talking. Because he is giving me the, the life to do so. When I read his word, he activates in me his power. And that's why people say like, oh, I don't hear him. I don't know him. How would you even know if you heard him if you don't know his voice? Do you study his word? Do you study the way he lived? So therefore, you could recognize if you saw somebody that he sent to bless your life, he even sends people to teach us lessons. So what has God given me that I'm grateful for is his presence in this season. The second question is, how can you serve him with it? How am I serving him with his, how am I serving him with his presence? I use the knowledge, the revelation, the insight, the clarity. I use my, my body. I use my mind. I use my mouth to speak where he calls me to speak. And even in the times where I don't understand if he's calling me to do something, if I have that gut feeling of something, I follow it, that intuition, because I truly believe that God is a God of order, but he's also a God of intention. He does things intentionally and whatever it is that we have in our gut, I truly be, believe that it's coming from our spirit and he drives our spirit, therefore it drives our heart and our brain and everything else that follows. So how can you serve him? with it so i pray that you ask yourself these questions and have some reflection time um which what has god given you that you're grateful for you can make a list of 10 things and i've also learned that if you make a list at night you journal to yourself 10 things that you're grateful for apparently it does something for your your body it does something for your immune system yes that's crazy right but it does something for your mind your heart and also your immune system your body your your internal organs are blessed by you making a journal of what you're grateful for because it relieves stress and anxiety in Jesus name that I pray that blesses you and today's prayer for us is you made everything faithful faithful creator please help us to live our life as a gift from you today and every day Lord thank you for for your presence thank you for dying on the cross for us and I pray that when you when you're praying that you don't just come with supplication the things that you need to be supplied for your life that you come with an adoration and that you come with uh, just a, a, a thankfulness and adoration what were they baby it was adoration and and sex something i don't know i'm gonna put those in the in, in this post it's the things that you come to god when you're praying it's five things so i pray that this blessed you and if you don't have a relationship with god you can repeat after me father in the name of jesus we thank you for dying on the cross for us father we want to live as you being the lord over our lives come into our hearts save us from ourselves and save us from everything that we need to be saved from and anything that needs to be that is distracting us remove it from our lives father so you can be the lord over our lives but more than anything we surrender to you right now in jesus name thank you father for for today thank you for your word thank you for leaving this forever change in jesus name we wrap that up and i just pray that you recognize your king or queen if this blessed you reign responsibly if this blessed you please share with someone that you love that it's blessed if it's blessed you so therefore you could be a blessing to others reign responsibly steward well the gifts that the lord has given you if you got an activation from this word or you got some type of reflection or it, it activated something in you or deactivated something in you i pray that um you be a blessing to someone else reign responsibly love responsibly and steward well responsibly the gifts that he's given you the material lives gifts and even the the emotional gifts and even the gifts that financial any area that he has been blessing you with his health wealth life everything if you've got good health go and help somebody that that doesn't so may you be someone's power in any area that they're weakness because the lord is our power and he gives us power to go and help the powerless so in jesus name be blessed i will see you all tomorrow bye thank you for your time today i pray that it's advanced you and added value to your life and if it has please share with someone else god bless